welcome back we are going to continue activity 2.13 for this we are not supposed to carry any experiment just we need to understand very basic things involving chemistry we need to take the salt potassium sulfate sodium sulfate etc we should be able to write their molecular formula now for that we can take help of these ions with their respective valences now how to write molecular formula i have prepared an old video you just click here on this i button or you can check it in the description box i have given the link you will be completely understanding how to write molecular formula how to name the chemical components how to decode their names and chemical formula one one another everything will be cleared there now once you are done with it you know how to write these things then we can start with our activity 2.13 now what is the formula for potassium sulfate it is k2so4 next sodium sulfate is na2so4 calcium sulfate is caso4 you should be confirmed i am damn sure ki you know these things you have maybe you have watched that video or you understood you understand how to write this molecular formula then only you should continue magnesium sulfate mgso4 copper sulfate coso4 sodium chloride nacl sodium nitrate nno3 sodium carbonate is na2co3 ammonium chloride is nh4 cl we just cross multiply those respective valences given in the name of the compound and we get this formula now next important thing we need to consider in this activity is what are salts we have got potassium sulfate or sodium sulfate or calcium sulfate or what are salts they have we need to identify which acids and bases upon reaction this to give the salt now simply we have understood that whenever any acid and base react compulsively they form kind of salt and water is formed now what acid and base might react to form this k2so4 to form this sodium uh, potassium sulfate now roughly i'll give a trick to understand this in in simple manner not to get into very much complicated process always we know that one thing you are very sure base contain one something common in it bases all the bases contain oh minus is common entity there right and all the acids contain yes h plus as common entity in all kind of acids we know that all bases contain oh minus and all acids contain h plus without that till uh, now we do not know any other acid which do not contain h plus or a base which do not contain oh minus so we'll take a help of this what are names have been given here this again contain two components one is positive part the metallic part cation and another one is negative part the non metallic part that is called as anion simply the first part you combine with oh and the next part you combine with h plus simply you can write it as koh taking up k and oh here na and oh calcium and oh we have to cross multiply the valences magnesium and oh here copper and oh next sodium and oh naoh again sodium is there na so it will be naoh again nh4 is there so nh4 oh to every first entity of that salt you have to attach oh to that all of these are bases respective bases for those respective salts next you have to attach h plus you have to combine h plus with this remaining next anionic part of the salt so sulfate was there i'll simply write it as h2 so4 right again sulfate i'll be writing again h2 so4 h again we have got sulfate this will be again h2 so4 now again do not get confused h2 so4 there you have got again sulfate this is again h2 so4 now here we have got 
Cl. Cl, I'll combine with H plus, very famous chemical you know, it is HCl, hydrochloric acid. Then you have got nitrate with H plus. What do I get? Is HNO3, nitric acid. Carbonate, if I combine with hydrogen, it will be H2CO3, right? Next, again we have got chlorine, Cl minus, with H plus, I am getting HCl. So, this is the simple trick we can use to identify which kind of bases and which kind of acids we have to react in order to get these different salts, right? So, simply you can take up any random salt. Magnesium sulphate is a salt formed by reaction of magnesium hydroxide as a base and H2SO4 as an acid. That was the vision of this activity. We have to just, we want to write molecular formula of the salt. We have to identify base and acids respectively. If you have still any doubt, you can comment in the, the comment box. We will be there to answer your questions.